hello guys in this video i am going to show you how you can create an edu email for microsoft azure student benefits account so this is very easiest method and working solution or working edu for the microsoft azure uh, $100 student credits by using this method you will be getting $100 of credits for free so let's start the video and see how we can uh, do this so first of all open your browser and you must be logged in to your gmail account and uh, you have to go to this site for the ad, uh, for the details of the person and please do copy all the details uh, all these details uh, from here and paste it in a notepad we will require this later so just paste these details and don't use address i recommend don't use address from here uh, we will be using address from another site and uh, the vpn must be turned on uh, you must use vpn so i have already connected to the vpn so just uh, use vpn and after that just search for this site so this is the site which we will be using so just click on this Gracias. so now uh, just click on here apply just scroll down and uh, you can see first time college student now just click here apply again just scroll down and you can see a button here apply here just click here so if you don't have an account yet it means we are creating new account so now we have to just click over here create a profile and now just enter all the details from here uh, you can just close these tabs so now just enter the details email you can use it from here Gracias. and if you don't know how to create uh, gmails or unlimited gmails then please do watch my previous video in which i have explained how you can create unlimited gmails for free uh. So after entering the password now choose the birth date so just enter as it is so after entering the birth date uh, now just click on this checkbox and now click on create my profile now click here create, create my profile Now uh, we will be getting a uh, verification email in our gmail and we have to verify our email address so now let's uh, wait for some time 
till the mail arrives. And please do check your spam folder also. It may arrive in spam. So yes, uh, the email is arrived. Now just open it. And now click here. Verify your email. Uh, now just check this box and now click on confirm your account and now click on create my profile so our account is created now we have to sign in so just enter our email and password over here And now click on sign in. So we have successfully signed in. And now what we will do is just fill this profile. Uh, you have to complete this profile now. So just fill this according to the profile of this site. So just enter all this uh, details and where did you here you can uh, select this option and just leave it as it is now just scroll down address information so for address I uh, just close these tabs uh, this is not important and for uh, for the address we will be using this site so just visit this site and search for this state which we use in the fake address so just search for this state Or you can select any state so we will be using this address So just copy this address and paste it in your notepad and we have to enter this address over that page so just enter the address over here city enter the city state Just enter the state zip code education level and now you can select here I am a, uh, I am a high school graduate and now high school uh, you can select from the state just enter the state name over here you can uh, select any uh, college over here or any school so I am going with this and now click on select and now academic interest here you can select any option but I am going with computer and engineering technology and now click on select and intended term of enrollment will be the term of enrollment i will be you can choose anyone but i will be going with this one and now click on select 
so our profile is completed successfully and now click on update so our profile is updated successfully now we can continue to the next step so there are no records so we can continue to the next step program applications so there are no program applications are there so we will be submit a submitting a programming application so now just click on here submit program application so now we have to fill this application so now first uh, this is the option we have to select first time college student now click on next so just scroll down and now click on next so now we have to fill all these details uh, term and enrollment so according to the profile we have given earlier just select the options 2024 spring and campus campus will be online campus you can see this uh, just select this option now click on select and just scroll down and fill all these details according to the profile and now uh, after this just scroll down and enter your social security number over here you can get this from here so just you have copy this and you have to remove this uh, hyphens over here just remove the hyphens and after this just paste the social security number over here and leave as it is just scroll down and just fill these details and the country is united states and now you have to just scroll down and phone type uh, you can select anything i'm going with cell and leave as it is and my parent or guardian education is high school select this and now click on white and are you a citizen yes and do you currently live in Nevada? Uh, live as it is. And again scroll down and now click on next. Uh, my education has given previously. Now select this option and name of the high school just search for the state and select the same college which we have given in our profile so this is the school just select just click on select and date of graduation uh, you have to give two years before date uh, like I am uh, giving this date Gracias. so after this just scroll down and uh, you don't need to change anything over here just scroll down and click on next So now area of study uh, as given in our profile same thing we will do here so computer engineering and technologies now click on select and now just click on next so 
so now just check these boxes over here and just enter your name here uh, just click here and the date will appear uh, so now just click next and now we have to review our application so just check if all the details are uh, correct or not so please do check everything before submit so here everything is fine and correct so just do check everything so everything is correct over here and now just scroll down and click on submit button so our application is submitted successfully and if you want to check what is the status of our application uh, you can go to my records over here so you can check the program applications which we have applied so just click here so you can see that we have the application in review and so our application is submitted successfully and within uh, so we will be getting an email regarding the confirmation and it shows your admission application is currently in review and within 5 days you will be getting your email id we will see whether we will be getting our edu email or not so, so after 2 to 3 days we will see whether we will be getting our edu email or not so guys after 3 days uh, let me show you whether I got an email regarding my edu email means edu details or not. So let me show you whether I got my edu details edu mail. So let me show you whether I got my edu email details or not. So let's uh, let me open my browser and you can see this we have the same account which we have applied for. So we have got our edu mail details over here you can see that we have successfully received our edu email details and uh, we will be uh, doing or we will be validating this edu mail details in the next video so please do uh, watch the next video and and uh, this is the whole process how you can uh, get the edu email for azure microsoft azure account so we'll see you in the next video thank you